Flathead Lake Brewing Company just might be the prettiest little brewery ever situated in God's country. It helps that the scenery in Big Fork isn't exactly ugly. And it helps that owner Terry Leonard isn't shy about his ambitions or ideals about brewing good beer. I have a background in the military. I spent 10 years active, about 5 years in reserve. Um, traveled all over the world, kind of fell in love with beer. And uh, just, that was the first thing I would do when I'd go to different countries. I've been to about 30 countries. And I'd go to, go to all the local breweries and I just fell in love with the art and the, just the different flavors. Some of them really good, some of them really bad. And, uh, Always in the back of my mind, it was kind of a little thing that uh, I'd always like to have a brewery. Summer hours in this quaint little bend in the lakeside road are easy on the schedule. And if you're inclined to share a pint or two with some of the local color, come prepared for music and frivolity. They seem to go hand in hand with good beer. The 20 barrel system isn't producing canned or bottled beer for distribution three states away. In fact, it's not always easy to find this great beer outside of Big Fork. But that's no reflection on Leonard's distributor. The beer is just that good. So this is the brew house. Uh, this is a new world brewing system that was uh, built in 1996. I picked it up in uh, Marble Hill, Ohio from a brewery that was kind of changing the direction they were going. Um, usually brewing equipment, whether you buy it uh, new or old, is always in good condition, especially if you buy it from an operating brewery. Because if it's operating, it's got to be clean, it's got to be in good condition. So I got it, it was in great condition, got a steel on it. Basically what we do to get the gravities that, that we require for our beers, we do two 10 barrel batches at a time. Um, just because we have a, a little bit more than 20 barrels in the brew kettle, and as you can see, the um, you lose a little bit in, in steam blow off, and you lose a little bit in, uh, in some of the other transferring uh, evolutions that are happening. Here's a little preview of what you're likely to find on tap this summer. First one here is uh, the Wild Mile Wheat. It's an American Hefe bison, so it's similar to the uh, European Hefe's. Um, a little less in yeast and wheat content. Um, it is unfiltered. It's our, our only unfiltered beer right now. Uh, the next one down is the white cap pale ale, an American pale ale, and this is one we talked about before. It's similar to an India pale ale, but not quite as hoppy and bitter. It's an American variety that's um, huge all over now. But that style of beer, Sierra Nevada, is the big one. That's probably the, the most familiar American pale ale brand out there right now. Uh, the last one is the Roy's Imperial India Pale Ale, double IPA. I'm not going to tell you what the alcohol content is because if I told you I might be admitting we're breaking some sort of Montana state brewing law. It's very high in octane. Um, it's a double IPA, super hoppy, super malty. Uh, basically, we took the White Cap Pale Ale base recipe, um, added some uh, special pale malting in addition to the two-row pale and some other other slight fluctuations, and we just used a whole lot of everything and a whole lot of hops. So every batch of that we've got about 75 pounds of hops in it. So a 20 barrel batch, about 75 pounds of hops. So it's, uh, it's double hopped in the brew kettle and it's overly dry hopped in the fermenter. We put a ton of hops in it. Um, this is a huge seller for us. It's a great beer. So if you find yourself at the lake this summer, and you're feeling like more than that packed-in American-style lager that's left you feeling a bit light, cruise over to Woods Bay for some of that nectar straight out of God's country. <laughs>